Hi everyone, my name's Mac and I'll be taking you through the product update for March. Uh, so firstly, we just wanted to talk about an important security update that's coming up. Uh, so we will be rolling out multi-factor authentication, or you might have heard of it as MFA or 2FA, uh, to all accounts in Workflow Max. Uh, initially, we'll be starting with those accounts that are connected with Zero at the moment. So why are we doing this? Well, MFA, it adds an extra layer of security to protect your company's data. Uh, research shows it actually prevents 99.9% .9 of all attacks on your account. So it's very effective for just a simple step. Um, how it works is that you will get an app on your mobile phone. Um, and when you're signing into Workflow Max, you'll enter your email address and your password, just like you do now. And then after that, you'll enter a six digit number that'll be generated by an app on your phone. There is also security questions. Uh, so if you don't have that app for some reason, you can use those backup questions to get into your account. The first stage of this rollout will be for those Workflow Maxer accounts that are integrated with Xero, uh, and this will become mandatory by the 15th of May. You can get ahead of this change though, so your account holder can now activate in the organisation settings for your account, um, enforcing MFA for all users in your account, and that will just prevent unexpected login disruptions for your team. Um, if they don't do that, that's okay, but it will mean that we'll automatically be activating that in your account somewhere between the 20th of April and the 15th of May. So we recommend getting on the front foot, uh, sending some communications to your team. We've set up a little handy template you can use for that uh, and activating it before the 20th of April. Uh, for more information on this change, head to the link in the comments. We've got some great resources there you can check out. Okay, so let's jump into the new features. First off, we've got an update to the Xero integration. Uh, you'll now be able to import your contacts from Xero directly via the API. So if you're setting up a new Workflow Max account, you can set up that account, go to your settings, connect to Xero, and then in your Xero integration settings, you'll see a button to import contacts from Xero. What that will do is it'll make an API called a Xero, go through all your clients and import them across to Workflow Max for you, and they'll be ready to go to set up your jobs. Next up, we've got a change in invoicing, a new feature there. Uh, so we had some feedback from customers regarding uh, the use of additional costs on invoices. So if you're adding a cost directly to an invoice that hasn't come through from the job or the quote, and how that's being handled. At the moment in Workflow Max, it does automatically go back to the job as a job cost. We understand that some of you would prefer for it just to remain on the invoice and not go back to the job. So we've got a new feature there in settings, it's called additional cost behavior. Uh, you can choose then between how those costs are handled, if they're automatically added back to the job, if they're never added back to the job, or there's a hybrid option where you can choose each time upon invoice approval. Third feature I wanted to bring up today was the new lead activity notification that's available. Uh, so you can turn that notification on and it will email either a team or the person that's been assigned to a new lead activity. It also will notify a person if they've been reassigned to an activity that already exists so that they get a heads up they're now responsible for that. We've got a couple of usability updates as well, some improved sorting and filtering in the product. So on the job manager screen now, uh, you can search and sort by custom fields. If you missed our previous video on that, you can add custom fields to the job manager listing by clicking the cog icon in the top right corner of that table. Uh, we are still developing that feature for other tables in the product, so you'll see that coming soon to the likes of quotes, leads, WIP Manager, etc. Uh, there has been a small update on WIP Manager though. Uh, you can now filter by job category there if you need to. And lastly, on the job financials tab for an individual job, where you've got those tables that show all your financial documents, like your purchase orders, quotes, invoices, you can now sort them by any column you wish just by clicking the table header. One last update to help with usability. Uh, we have made an enhancement to global search, so you'll find that in the top menu bar. You can now search for a job by your client's order number also. Looking ahead to what's on the horizon, uh, we do have an update coming out for zero throughout the month of April. This will be gradually rolled out to accounts. Um, there's a few benefits to that. Firstly, it will improve the sync speeds. So those invoices should appear in zero quicker. We have also changed the way that the validation approval process works. Um, so rather than approving that invoice and then potentially getting an error that it hasn't synced to zero because, for instance, the contact's been archived, that will be checked as part of the invoice approval process. So you'll know there and then if there's any issues and you can go and fix them if you want to before approving that invoice, um, or you can still choose to approve that invoice um, and ignore those validation errors. 
Lastly, we're just looking to add more transparency to the process. Uh, so at the moment, those sync errors, they'll find them in the zero error log. Um, we are sort of consolidating that with the main invoice table. So alongside your invoice status, you'll see a little warning icon if there has been any issues with the synchronization, just so it's easy to pick up on those as part of your day-to-day -day, um, rather than them being hidden on a different tab. We're also really excited to announce that our QuickBooks accounting integration is coming along really nicely. Uh, that will be available for beta access later this month in April. So if you're interested in that, please contact our support team and let them know, and they'll be able to activate that in your account once it's ready. So that's it for the March product update. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to catching up next month to take you through what we've rolled out during April.